Okay. And the next topic that I'm going to say is that we have already studied about function that you will call call by value. For example, but in this uh, slide, I will talk about the function that you call by reference. Call by reference with a pointer argument will be useful if you want to change the value in function. But you can pass the address of the argument using ampersand using an operator in main function. And this one will allow you to change actual location in memory. Even you pass the value or pass the variable into the function, and then you just pass, you didn't pass only the copy of the value, but you pass the address of the value. So you can change the value. And when you, whenever you change the value in function, the value that that corresponding value will be changed in main function as well or the color as well arrays are not passed with ampersand because the array name is actually a pointer i will show you that instead of using function uh, if you use array it will be much simpler and easier okay i will talk about this later so first of all, I have to show you the function and call by reference. Suppose I have this function, double. Double is I want to uh, multiply two by the num of the number, right? So in main function, I can use, um, okay, integer x is equal to five, and I use function double. You can see that because I cannot use double itself because it is the, the same as the, the data type double, right? So I use capital B here, double x. If I want to use, if I want to uh, change the value of x, right, into 10, right, multiplied by two. So what should I do? When I use a function double, right, Normally, if I don't have star here and star here and star here, when I use five here, and then five will be the actual parameter that will be copied to this. Forget about star, okay? It is star first. If I like the function like this, when x is copied to number, right? And number is, oh, sorry, five will be kept, x will be by to number and five will be copied to number. The number is five multiplied by two. So you can get 10 and 10 will be kept to number. But if you use function that is called by value. Function called by value, number has been changed to 10. Number has been changed to 10, but number will not go back and copy back to X here. Okay, x is still five. But if you want to change x here, what should we do? We have to use function call by reference. Okay, so if x is equal to five, and then you use double here, and then from the main function, from the main function, you have to use ampersand x. What does it mean, ampersand x? Address will be sent, address of x will be sent to here. And then this one. Actually, number here is a pointer. Pointer to an integer. Where integer? Integer x. But when you put star number like this, this one will be a value. So this one is five, and this one is also five if you treat as a variable. Variable. Okay, two multiplied by five will be, this is the value at this number. Number is now, number here now is a pointer. And star, okay, just think about, think like this. 
this one, even if it's uh, an address, and then when I use this star number, but star number is an integer, so I will treat star number. Actually, itself will be a variable. I will use this one as a variable. And then to multiply by five, right? This is equal to 10. And this is a pointer and 10 will be changed to the value of this address x in main function. So this one will be changed to 10. Okay, that's all. That's what we call the, um, the pass by reference. Uh, the value value in address x is changed, but address will not change, right? Again, please. <laughs> <laughs> Again, please. The value the value? In, value in x is changed, but uh address will not will not change. change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Address X will share, will be sent to double. I'm sorry, I cannot write it now because my pencil is gone already. <laughs> okay. okay. And uh, what, what should I do? Okay. I will show you this example, okay? In order to um, make you understand more about this pass by value and pass by reference. This, this one is a pass by value. Okay, when you see the main function here, right? Number is five, and then you print five. The original number is five and if you don't have the pass by reference, you just simply copy the number to this function q by value. In function q by value, you pass n as an argument. This is five. And then five multiplied by five and multiply by five, you will get 125. And then you return this value back to the name of this function q by value. And then you have to assign it to number. So now number is 125. So the new value of number will be 125. This is the way that we used before, right? We use pass by value. Okay, you understand this? This one is you don't have to use pointer. But if you use pass by reference, you don't have to assign Q by reference to any things, right? Number is five, and then you just pass. Okay, what is this? Repeat after me. Address of number. Repeat after me. Address of number. But my food time like the many high food time repeat after me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just keep in mind that when you see ambassador, this it is address of number, right? Address of number. When you when you pass address, instead of using integer in NP uh, alone, you have to put asterisk or star sign here. Sata. Star NPGR. So now this one NPGR will be a variable of pointer. It will be a pointer variable. But I will not think like that. I will think star NPGR as a value. Once again, when I think about pointer, I and 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 when you think like me, like you will understand pointer easily. 
in this case, right, I don't care about this one to uh, to send the pointer or not. But I think about NPGR and suck it at its star. Star NPGR is an integer. And any place that I would like to talk about value, I put star NPGR as a variable. I think of it as a variable, variable, variable. Variable multiply by variable, multiply by variable. So when I will get a cube of NPGR, right? And then I also return it into a variable as well, star NPGR. And that's all. And this is the way that when we um, pass this one address of number to this function and everything that has been changed in this function will be changed to the number here as well. So you can see that this is the, the value of number will be changed to 125 again. Not again, as well. So if you think like this, do it will be easy. Because I'm not going to think about the pointer. The pointer is confusing. But instead of using a pointer, because we have a dereferencing, right? When you put star in front of a pointer, you will get you can treat it as a value or a variable. So forget about pointer. Think about this as an integer. Okay, then go back to the previous slide. Okay, so here we go. We have okay. We in main function you use ampersand number right. And then inside this one, this will be treated as a variable. So this one variable multiplied by two, and then you can get the double of this number, and then you you assign it to this number as well. And this number will be changed in the number or the variable in main function. If you understand this, that's all. When I write a program, I write a, a variable first, and then I just put the star sign later. You, do you get my point? Okay, let me show you step by step. Okay, the first one, if you, you, or if you declare number as an integer here, this is pass by value, okay? We talk about pass by value first. Then you call Q by value, right? So the number here, that is, will copy five. Five will be copy to N here. So previously N is undefined, right? Because it is in function from uh, in a, this is a for uh, this is a formal argument, formal pa parameter. So it is undefined. Once you call Q by value, right? The number here will be by will be bow, by bow bow, will be bind to n here. So now n is five. Do you do you get the point? Five has been bound to n, and n will be five. n multiplied by n multiplied by n, so return one hundred and twenty. Now this one is one hundred and twenty-five, and then return one hundred and twenty-five to this name Q by value. Return will return to the function name. Okay, so you can see that the highlight blue. Is the function name q by value 125 and then 125 will be assigned to number. So the number now will be 125. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. 
Okay, this one is easy. Okay, and the next one will be pass by reference. Okay, first one, pass by reference, right? When the number is five, and then instead of pass only number, right? We pass the address of the number. Why do we have to pass the address of the number? Because we want to get the value that is that has been changed in a function back to this number or to this variable. So we instead of using five, which is a value, and copy to the function, we will instead of that we will have to use address. We submit address instead. So now address has been sent to here, but um. Okay, the second step, right? When you call Q by reference number. Okay, address of the number will be. Okay, you can see that NPTR itself is the pointer or the location. So the location will point to the number here. Do you, do you understand this meaning? When you send address of the number to here, right, and pointer, which is the value, or and pointer alone, okay, will point back to the address of number here. So once you change, okay, ampersand, not ampersand, sorry, star NPGR multiplied by star NPGR multiplied by NPGR, you will get 125, right? And 125 will be will be assigned to what to the value of NPTR of the address of NPTR. This one star is the value of address of NPTR. So 125 will be changed here. Call that function modifies color variables. Okay. This one means the value of the address NPTR point two. That is the value here, right? Will be changed to 125. So that's all. Do you want me to repeat it again? I will let you try to understand. You can see the, the, the highlight with boom. Yes, please. Okay, I will repeat it again about uh, past my reference. So, okay, so for, uh, first of all, past my reference, the difference between the past by uh, Pass by value here and pass by reference will be the ampersand sign and sign here. Okay. And sign and of the variable will be address of variable. Just you have to think like this. If you see and number, you have to say that. It is address of number. Address of number will be an argument, actual parameter to this function. And this function, right, you have to define, if you don't have star, NPGR alone will be integer. But in this case, you have star, right? NPGR will be a pointer to integer. Okay, because now we are still in main function and then when we call address N, 
our address number right then then address of five will be bound to NPGR and NPGR will be point back to the address of number. As called as service, this pointer, NPGR is a pointer that points to number. Or NPGR keeps the address of number. The same thing, the same thing. But it will be easier if I say that in NPGR in pointer points to number. Now, anything that has been changed to this pointer, it will be changed to the number as well. So in this way, right, NPGR itself is a pointer. And if I use star NPGR, it will be a variable. Okay, this lump is a variable. So this, okay, this lump, this box, star NPGR, I treat it as a variable. Variable multiplied by variable multiplied by variable. You can get what? 125. And 125 will be assigned to what? To a variable that is NPGR point two. A variable that NPGR point two is number. NPGR point two what? Point two in this number. So 125 will be assigned that to number. So that is why number here, which is a variable in main function will be changed by reference in Q by reference function. Is that clear?